uh, when uh, the children in the family are uh, more, uh, most of all uh, witness of violence between parents or between parents and brothers and sisters, what do you think a, a therapist uh, uh, has to, 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 to keep uh, in his her mind uh, for working with this uh, situation that in the past uh, were not uh, considered uh, uh, so dangerous, but now a recent investigation showed that this kind of uh, violence uh, is very, very traumatic, very, very dangerous. What's your advice? Absolutely. It is very dangerous. It's very traumatic. And I think as soon as I answer, you're going to go, oh, right, of course, that's why, <laughs> why we're doing it. Um, you know, all the rage, you know, is talking about attachment. And attachment theory is an important piece of working with violence because on two levels, which is one, the attachment between therapist and, and client, which that is significant because of this concept of co-regulation. But And that's exactly what is so damaging is that Basically, when you see so, when the child is witnessing domestic violence, what we can assume is emotional neglect in the least for the family. And what that even means deeper is there's going to be an, a detachment, a disorganized or uh, insecure attachment. When we have parents, when a, a mother or a father worrying about being abused, wondering what's going to happen. It's a constant state of threat to the child. It's a constant state where the child is hypervigilant, hyperarousal. And so what do we know? What we know now about the brain, which we could presume in the past, but now we know more, is that then the brain stays on this constant state of alert. The parents are, you have, and this is why you do family therapy. You have an entire family in what we call a traumatic state, which means it, there can't be co-regulation, there can't be attachment. So you have a child that's hyper aroused, hyper vigilant. Obviously we know that becomes behavioral, it looks behavioral, their symptoms. You have the parents, so that's why we do family therapy is to teach and to facilitate this, the concept of co-regulation. So, and when there is a constant threat of violence on any form or a child witnessing it, then of course the child shuts down, the child acts out um, because of this, what is happening in their nervous system. 